Hey, this is Yuda, aka Sidebrain for BitLab Academy, and I want to show you the new features in Ableton Live 10.1. Ableton just released it. Uh, it's a free update for all users, and there's a lot of awesome new features. Let's check them out. First one, you can now load custom wavetables into the wavetable synthesizer. So let's just go like packs, um, build and drop, samples, one shots, claps. Slow this one because it's long. So you just drag it into the display here and it turns it into a wavetable. Let's play it. So let's say I turn off raw and now it gives us a more uh, messy type of waveform but with a lot of uh, interesting waveforms here. Right, so you can just drag it. Nice, so this is a very popular requested feature. So uh, Wavetable is now a bit more similar to synthesizers like Serum and Avenger, all those Wavetables. Awesome. Um, next, we actually have two new devices. One of them is just a combination of the simple delay and the ping pong delay. Now it's just one device called delay. You have the same thing here, all the timing, feedback. Uh, you can freeze it. Um, now you have the right click modes right here you can choose from it and the repitch mode is by default uh, you can turn on ping pong mode you have a filter and another extra thing here that you have is a built-in LFO uh, for modulation on the filter and the time uh, if you do have older projects that use the simple delay or ping pong delay it will still work you'll just see this device with a button here says upgrade so you can uh, upgrade it to the new delay unit Awesome, next one is a channel EQ, which is a very simple three-band EQ, uh, but as Ableton described it, it's a very musical one, so it might be very useful for a lot of purposes of just throwing an EQ, really quickly getting a sound. Uh, low, mid, high, you get here the mid frequency, and here is a high pass uh, filter for 80 Hz and the main output. Simple, but uh, can be very useful and probably very musical. We'll check it. So that's the channel EQ. Next, I'm going to switch to the arrangement view because we have a lot of automation uh, improvements. So first of all, let me create a clip here. Okay, it doesn't even matter. Let's uh, turn on, show the envelopes. So now you can highlight an envelope, right click, and here on the bottom you'll be able to add shapes, which is an awesome new feature. So let's add like a sine wave. You can see it's right here. Uh, another thing you can do is if you highlight a section of the envelope, you'll get this transform buttons. So you can start morphing the envelope in all sorts of ways to make it different, expand it, transform it, skew it, which is awesome. If you draw with uh, the pencil, keyboard shortcut B, and I'm going to turn off the grid. Let's turn off the grid. And now you can draw it in. So in the past, it will give us a lot, a lot of breakpoints once we turn off the draw mode. But now, as you can see, the envelopes are much more simplified. If for some reason you do get a lot of breakpoints, you can highlight the envelope right click and now you can also simplify envelope nice another super awesome feature is that now you can right click add it value and put an exact value for the automation which is incredible nice now let's go back a second to the uh, session view and I'm gonna load a, let's load like a audio clip loops nice so right here if we go to the clip envelopes now Ableton made it much more obvious what is automation and what is modulation. And it will even have different colors to distinguish even more uh, the differences between modulation and uh, automation. All right, we can still see the modulation going on. Nice. Let's switch back to the arrangement. Next, we have a lot more uh, keyboard shortcuts, surprisingly. So here on the top right, we have two buttons, the H and the W. Uh, these are MIDI mapped, mappable or keyboard mappable. And of course, you can use the keyboard shortcuts H and W. Uh, let me just turn off the MIDI keyboard. So my computer keyboard won't function as a MIDI keyboard. Excellent. Now, uh, if you hit H, it will distribute all tracks in the arrangement view. So let me first of all fold all tracks. Okay. And let me zoom out. 
Let me hit age, and now we can see they're all being expanded. We can hit age again to fold them. Uh, w will zoom in on the selected and will zoom back out on the project. U will unfold the selected track, or uh, option U will unfold all the tracks from the same type. So if you have a group, let's say here we have a group, we'll just fold the groups first, and then you can click again to unfold all the tracks or fold all the tracks. Sweet. Um, Z and X will zoom in and zoom out on the selection. And if the uh, clip is selected, it will also open it up and fill up your screen, which is very useful. So Z and X. Awesome stuff. That's really great uh, improving, quickly zooming in, working in whatever you need, and then zoom it back out on your project. Um, the plus and minus, if you hold option with plus and minus, option or alt, it will expand the track itself. And let's bring this to the arrangement, the audio clip. Now you won't see the, auto, uh, the uh, fades anymore. You'll have to hold F, and now you get the fades, and that's a momentary toggle, so a momentary button. So let's go there. And if you're in the automation, you hold F, you get the fades in and fade out. Nice. Next one is also another awesome one. There was a few hacks around it, but now you can just hit S and solo the selected track, which is super awesome. So now you can navigate with your arrow keys and use S to solo. Um, you can also use an uh, option and two finger scroll or pinch zoom in to change the track height. The arrangement overview can now be resized. And as you can see, much more detailed, much more organized. Nice. Uh, the clip is also much more detailed. As you can see, if I close the automation, we'll still see the grid behind it, which was not in earlier versions. Makes it a lot easier to see the length of the clip and how to edit it. Now, another huge change is let's go to Live Preferences. And right here on the tabs, you will see the Plugins tabs. This is a new tab. It was just moved from the file folder. But now we also have VST3. So Ableton actually now supports, finally, VST3, which is amazing. So if I load an effect here, we can also see the benefit, uh, obvious benefit of VST3 right away, which is the ability to now sidechain very easily any audio effect plugin which is incredible. Check out our blog. We just did a blog post about the differences in VST3, what it is, why it's better, but now Ableton supports VST3, which is amazing. Next, and I know a lot of people here, especially if you use Ableton for a few years, struggle with this, but if you have a sidechain to another track, you wouldn't be able to freeze it in previous versions, but now you can. So I got a frozen track with sidechain. Last uh, new feature is if you go to the export menu and you click render tracks, now you can select all individual tracks or selected tracks only and also include return and master effects, which is big. So everything, all the groups, all the tracks, if you have sends, if you have master effects, they will be included with your stems, which saves a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of headache. Uh, so that is a super awesome update from Ableton. Thank you guys so much, Ableton. You always give us so many gifts with a lot of new features. Uh, let me know how you guys are using the new features. If there was any feature I missed, we'd love to hear from you. Catch you next time.